You're watching BTV. A quote from CNBC earlier this year stated, there isn't enough copper in the world. With the copper market fueled by strong demand to power the energy transition and facing supply challenges, plus a drought of new discoveries, Kodiak Copper might be in the right place at the right time again. The supply pipeline for copper is very weak at the moment, simply because there was no major copper discovery for over a decade. And that is in a scenario where we see very strong demand from the Green Revolution. So no doubt more copper discoveries are needed and that's exactly the business Kodiak is in. Chris Taylor, former CEO of Great Bear Resources, has done this before, taken a junior mining company and propelled it forward. In the case of Great Bear, it was recently acquired by Kinross for over 1.3 billion US dollars. Kodiak has drilled over 50,000 meters into the MPD project in central BC and we're very pleased with what we've seen so far. And what this is is a number of copper porphyry centers and what we see is mineralization that extends right to surface, uh, big envelopes of mineralized material and multiple centers that we're exploring right now. Fortunately for Kodiak, we're located in southern British Columbia and a characteristic of many British Columbia porphyry deposits is, th is that they also have a significant gold component. So what we expect to see with most of our drilling is good copper values and good gold values. It is a pivotal time for our company. We made our first high-grade discovery at the gate zone and are now taking the same approach and testing multiple other targets with the potential to make several other discoveries. A strong attribute for this project is the accessible location in an established mining district. So our geologists, they stay in Merritt. Merritt has all the infrastructure access that we need for the support of the project, and it's very operationally effective to reduce per drilling costs. So basically, more of the money that we raise as a company ends up as drilled meters instead of just helicopter fuel or something like this. For some, like this mining analyst at Cormark Securities, it was not surprising that Kodiak found a discovery where others had previously drilled. The whole thesis here in, 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 at MPD is that while there's been a lot of historic drilling do been done, uh, most of it was shallow within you know, 200 meters of surface. And what Chris Taylor, Claudia and, and the geologists recognized early on was that shallow drilling looked to have only tested what, what would be interpreted as the top of a porphyry system and never really went deep enough to get into the guts of these systems. And so one thing that led to the gate zone discovery was that Kodiak went in and, and put the drills and drilled a lot deeper. And sure enough, that thesis played out. They hit the gate zone at depth. Copper, gold, location, and experience all point to a positive outcome. It is an established mining area. We have multiple gold and copper mines around us. So all the infrastructure in place, you can work year round and you can reach the MPD project literally right off the highway. Once you have a good exploration thesis in play and you begin to see that success as you test new ideas, that's what really gives you that passion for discovery, the fire in your belly that leads you to want to find more. Taking a page out of Great Bear's playbook, Kodiak Copper is focusing on exploration and discovery to generate value for shareholders. You can follow all the updated news by going to KodiakCopperCorp.com.